Morning everybody, uh, here's another PE session for you. I'm um, here with Keelan today. Uh, for those who just joined in, my name's Jack as well. Uh, it might be your first session with us. Uh, welcome along, we hope you do enjoy what we're going to put um, on, put on for you today. Uh, today's session is going to all be about jumping. Okay, jumping in lots and lots of different directions. We're going to do a bit of dodging as well, a um, bit of explosive jumping, so hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy doing that. Um, I do this session at school with the children. When we do it in school, I've got a huge pile of hoops uh, and I normally put hoops down. Um, I appreciate that at home you probably don't have many hoops. That's why I'm stood out here with a load of cushions. I've got a jumper rolled up, uh, my patio chair cushions, and some pillows from upstairs. That's all we're going to use today. You can use hoops if you've got hoops, but we will show you how to do this. Uh, without using any hoops at all. I've also got some spare socks because um, my feet are going to get wet on my grass, I feel. Uh, and the worst thing in the world is wet socks, so I've got some, uh, some spare socks just in case. Okay. Um, so I know kids obviously love jumping your bed, so this is your one and only time you can maybe allow, you'll be allowed to jump on cushions and things. Uh, we're doing this in the garden. This is definitely a session you can do inside. All you need is this, these pieces of equipment uh, and you'll be jumping around. Um, you can jump around your living rooms or your bedrooms with, uh, with somebody. Okay, um, So we're going to start off by just doing some um, forward jumps. Now this is again going to be a, uh, what the younger players would really do in school. If I had year fours, five, six, I wouldn't do this as a progression, but I am going to show you what it is just for those younger players. Okay, um, I'm going to start off by doing lots and lots of bouncing, and Keenan's going to shout out a different colour. Okay, uh, I don't know how clear it is. I've got brown, red and white. That's what Keelan's going to shout out. I'm just going to jump uh, onto that. But I'm going to imagine that each one is going to be like a mini trampoline. When I land on it, I'm going to bounce. And I'm not going to bounce flat-footed. When I bounce and I land on something, I'm going to bounce up and down on my toes. And I'm going to keep on jumping, okay? And then Keelan's going to shout out, white, white. I'm going to jump to the white one, bounce up and down, bounce, bounce, bounce. I jump to the red one, bounce, bounce, bounce. Brown. Brown. I do a big jump to the brown one. I bounce, white. bounce, bounce. Big jump to the white one, bounce, bounce, bounce. Red. And I'll go big jump and we'll freeze just there, okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to have a little go at that each, you and your partner. You're going to go for one minute per person. This will be a little warm up. Jumping is actually quite a tiring skill, so this will tire out a lot, but one minute each. Uh, hit the pause button now and then we'll come back to you with your progression in a second. Do you want to take your shoes off? Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, progression, hopefully you've all had a little go at that one. Um, so now we're going to try and be jumping in different directions. Jumping forwards is the easiest way to jump. We're now going to challenge you. Can you jump sideways? Can you jump backwards? Okay, they're the trickier ways to jump. There will still be some forward jumps as well. So Keelan is going to non-stop bounce. Okay, and we spoke about eye contact before in our videos. Keelan's going to look at me the whole time. And if I was to say to him, brown, he has to jump sideways to brown. If I was to say red, he jumps forwards to red. If I said brown, he jumps backwards to brown. If I said white, he jumps sideways to white. But I can also walk around. I can say red. I can say white. I can say brown, and wherever I'm facing, he's looking at me, and he's not just jumping forwards this time, we're seeing if he can jump backwards, and if he can jump sideways, okay? So once again, it is tiring, see if you can do your minute, so we're going to hit the pause button, one minute each on that one, uh, and then come back and we'll show you um, a, fur a further progression on that one. Let's hit the pause button now. <coughs> okay, we're going to go again. Uh, not the ball just yet, it's, um, so this time uh, what Keelan's going to do is he's going to shout out a combination and this is where we're talking about explosive jumps, two or three really fast jumps. So Keelan might say something to me like brown red and I'll go brown red really quickly and then keep bouncing, all these little bounces the whole time so I'm never just standing still, I'm constantly bouncing. He might say white red white and I go white red white, bounce bounce bounce. Okay so whatever Keelan says that's what I'm going to do and I'm still going to try and keep that eye contact with him, okay? Ready? Red, brown. Red, brown, bounce, bounce, bounce. White, brown, red. White, brown, red, bounce, bounce, bounce. Brown, red. Brown, red, bounce, bounce, bounce. Brown, red, white. Brown, red, white, bounce, bounce, bounce. One red, more. white. Red, white, and we'll freeze there. Okay, so combinations of two for the younger players, three for those kind of two, year two, threes and fours, and then we can maybe do four uh, four combinations for those slightly older players. Okay, so have a little go at that one, that'd be brilliant. Hit the pause button now, a minute each, and then come back to us with one final progression on this. Some jumping, you go to some dodging. Okay, so, uh, last part. We got, again, we've, we've said about this before, we're lucky we've got lots and lots of balls. We've got spongy ones, we've got tennis balls. Uh, if you have got spongy ones, it does work better. It doesn't really matter, but if you need to, ball up a piece of paper, six and tell a tape around it, 
you're going to be throwing the ball at your partner now. Okay? My job is I'm going to try and aim for Keelan's legs. Okay? Keelan is going to constantly jump. I will get a point if I hit Keelan on the legs or if he falls off of any of the three cushions or the jumper. Okay? I'm allowed to walk around him. I'm not allowed to go too close. In your group or in your, between you and your partner, decide what's too close. If I'm standing here, it's really hard for him to start. So I just need to be back a little bit. I'm going to go <coughs> underarm throws and then I'm going to try and hit him on the legs. And if you look, he has just got to keep jumping away. Oh, I got him once there. He's got that little jump there. He's got to constantly jump. But if I throw and he accidentally jumps off, he might jump off a one. And jump up. He's falling off. That is a point for me as well. So it's going to be a point per hit and a point if he falls off. Now you might have six balls. We have six balls. Brilliant. There's just balls scattered all around the garden. You might only have one ball. If you only have one ball, watch this. Keenan's going to start jumping again. I throw and I have to just run and get it. I throw. I just have to run and get it. And he has to keep jumping the whole time. Okay? You're going to go for, we'll go for 90 seconds each. 90 seconds to see how many points you get. Remember, point per hit on the legs and a point if they step off of the cushions or the jumpers or whatever you're using to bounce up and down. Okay? Um, what we'll do, uh, when you come back first, we'll be a part of a different video uh, with a different game for you. So hit the pause button now uh, and hopefully you'll enjoy that last little game, oh, the, the last little game of this, uh, this section. Okay, cheers guys, have fun. Okay, so this is game number two, really, of the day. Um, this little jumping challenge, this is why we need all our cushions, all of our equipment. Uh, let's say, when we were in school, we kind of normally use hoops for this. Uh, we just, you've got a jumper, we've got pillows, we've got patio cushions. Just kind of use anything you can that you can just land on, that's a, like a stepping stone, basically. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing lots and lots of different kinds of challenges, different kinds of jumps to try and get across from one side to the other. Your aim is to complete that challenge without falling off of any of the stepping stones. Okay? We've got a few which we're going to go through. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do them. Then Keelan is going to do them. And whilst Keelan is doing them, you're also going to do them as well. I'll then show you the next one and we'll go through all of the different ways I want you to challenge yourself jumping so we won't be pausing the video until, um, until the very end where I've got a couple of little uh, extra progressions if the older players want to try it. Okay? So um, we're going to start over here. I just want to make sure that Jake can see me. The first way you're going to jump, I'm going to take me, uh, my flip flops off. Uh, I want you to jump um, as if you're an elephant. Now, for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you different kinds of animals and this is going to be to kind of try and suit our younger players. Older players, I still want you to do the same jumps. Please don't think you're too cool for it just because I'm saying please jump like an elephant. Just think about those younger players because you would have loved all of my funny jokes when you were their age and I'm sure they still will now. Okay? So um, we're going to jump like an elephant first of all. So it's going to be two feet flat on the floor and we're going to make as much noise as we possibly can. I'm going on every single cushion until I get to the other side. So I'm going to go two feet down, 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 down. Down, down, and I'm going to try and make as much noise as I possibly can. Okay, so you're going to start doing that across your little setup as Keen is going to, going to do now. But he's going to take his shoes off before he jumps on my cushion. And you better take your shoes off before you jump on your parents' cushion. Okay, so two feet together, and off you go, Keelan. Two feet, jump, jump, jump together. You should be doing this as well at the same time now, kids. And we've made it. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine jumps, okay? That's roughly what we kind of want you to do, okay? So uh, next one, you're gonna jump like a mouse. Mice jump quietly. When mice walk, they walk on their tiptoes. I want you to jump and land on your tiptoes. So when I jump from here onto there, I'm gonna land softly. I'm not gonna land flat footed, I'm gonna land on my tiptoes. Nice and softly, nice and softly, nice and softly. And I'm gonna try and get all the way across making the lowest amount of noise as I can this time. Okay? You ready to go home? Ready to go, Keelan? Let's go. Softly. The lightest footsteps that you can possibly do. The lightest footsteps. Good work. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to do jump like a kangaroo. Kangaroos bounce. So every single one I land, land on, I'm going to bounce. Kangaroos love bouncing. I jump and I bounce. Jump and I bounce. Jump and I bounce. I do about three bounces on each. Three bounces on each. Three bounces on each until I get across <coughs> to the other side. So kids at home, hope you're ready to jump like a kangaroo across. Off you go, Keenan. Three bounces on each. One, two, three. 
three. Perfect. Now, uh, next up, we're going to like a tiger. Tigers, uh, there's a very famous tiger called Tigger, Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Tigger uses his tail, he can jump really, really, really far. Okay, so this time we're actually gonna try and miss out cushions. Okay, so if I start here, I'm gonna use, uh, Tigger uses his tail like a spring. I don't have a tail, I'm gonna use my legs like a spring. And I'm probably gonna try and get across in two, maybe three jumps. So from here, I bend my legs, and I spring, and I try and miss out cushions. I bend my knees, and I spring, and I try and miss out cushion. I bend my knees and I jump far this time. So you're going to try not to go on every single cushion. You're going to try and miss ones out. Keelan might be able to miss out that and get all the way to here. We'll have Good to see. But you're going to give it a go at home as well, kids, and try and get across in the lowest number of jumps you possibly can. Keelan's got across in one, two. Keelan's got across in three. Hopefully you guys got across in maybe maybe some of you got across in two jumps. You never know. Okay. Next up is a, a cheetah. Cheetahs. If che cheetah runs. If a cheetah was to jump, a cheetah would jump fast, okay? This time when I jump across, I'm going to go fast, 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 fast. And the quickest jumps that you can possibly do. But for this, I want to make sure that you don't run across. Because some kids might just go, ready, I'm going, to, I'm going to jump, I'm going to jump. And it's not a running challenge, it's a jumping challenge. Two feet together the whole time. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Fast, 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 fast. At home, kids, hopefully you got across really, really fast as well, okay? Um, so, uh, next up, you're gonna jump, uh, imagine a dolphin coming out of water. It will jump really, really high. So you're gonna try and do the highest jumps that you possibly can do. Okay, so when I'm here, I'm gonna leap up as high as I can and almost touch the sky, but I'm gonna land sideways. So I'm gonna do a high jump, as I'm a dol dolphin jumping out of the water. I jump, I jump as high as I can get, every single jump as high as I can go until I get to the end. Okay, and Keelan's gonna have a go now. Off you go, Keelan. High, 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 high as you can. Leap up, use those legs to spring up, not far. Use them to spring up. And he's made it across. Good work. So, um, next up is we're gonna jump uh, like a crab. Crabs obviously walk sideways. So if I imagine if a crab was to jump, it would jump sideways. So this time I'm gonna face the camera. I'm almost looking at you and I'm gonna go, it's almost like forwards and backwards with my diagonal. I'm gonna face the camera and I'm gonna go across sideways this time. Okay, you ready Keelan? Ready. Off you go. Sideways, sideways, sideways. All the way across to the other side. Now we need to make sure we train our body equally. We've just jumped one way. We're gonna do it the other way now. Now that doesn't mean we turn around and face this way because we're actually still jumping to our left. It means I actually still have to face the camera because I'm now jumping to my right. I'm going to do exactly the same again. Back across to the other side. Hoi! And I've made it. Okay, off you go, Keelan. Forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. And we're done. So, uh, next up, I want you to jump across like a flamingo. Flamingos stand on one leg, so if a flamingo was to jump across, they were to jump on one leg, which is like a hop. So from here, I'm gonna see if I can do a hop now. I'm gonna start, I move my first one on my right leg. Okay, ready? I'm gonna go hop, 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 hop. And I've made it across. Okay, Keelan's gonna have his go now. Go for Keelan, hop, 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 hop. We've used our right leg. Let's see if we can get across our left leg. Okay, ready? Here we go. Hop, 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 hop. On our left legs this time. Okay, ready for it, Keelan? Off you go. Left leg, left leg. Can you keep your balance even though your land's on those cushions? Can you keep your balance? He has made it across. Brilliant. So, um, we've done all our different kinds of challenges, all our different kinds of jumping. If you want to have another go at some of them, hit the pause button now. The progression I have for those older children is going to be, can you do all of those challenges again, but can you do them on one leg? So if I'm here and I'm hopping like a cheetah, can you do fast hops? How quick can you get across? Okay, can you do far hops? So if I'm standing here, I'm going to miss them out. Can I get a really a big hop in? Can I get a big hop in? Okay, and all of those progressions that we've just done, 
you can try and do again just on one leg. You might even want to try and go backwards, something you haven't done backwards jumps. So you try and jump across backwards, okay? So if you want to hit the pause button now, please do. Um, if not, you can continue on to our next game, which I'm going to explain to you now. So, um, we're going to send Keelan across the game. Um, I've got, I, don't be scared, Keelan, I've, I've got a frying pan in my hand, it's not for me, is it? Um, so, I'm going to send Keelan across, I'm going to say 3, 2, 1, go. And as he's going across, he's going to jump and he's going to make sure he touches every single cushion or pillow or jump or whatever it may be. If he touches the floor, I get a point. I'm also going to be at the side and I'm going to have some balls. Now for round number one, I'm going to throw the balls and I'm going to try and hit Keelan. And if I manage to hit him, that means I get a point. At the moment, I've got spongy balls. And if you're using spongy balls, I don't mind you throwing and hitting each other's bodies. Okay? But if you've only got those tennis balls, some of you might only have tennis balls at home, then that's where you're going to bowl them and only aim for legs. Okay? So if you watch, we'll do a quick demonstration. So we're still going to send Keelan across now, really. I'll, I'll bowl the tennis balls and I'll throw the, the sponge balls. If, okay, if you need to, though, you can ball up pieces of paper. We said about balling pieces of paper up before. Ball up pieces of paper if you need to. Okay? So ready, Keelan? Three, two, one, go. He's off. And I'm going to bowl tennis balls. I'm going to try and hit his legs. I'm going to try and hit his legs. And he's made it. I then connect up my balls. I restart. Okay, so I go back to my start. Keelan goes across. And what I want you to do is I want you to turn this into a little challenge between you and your, your partner, you and your, uh, your brother or sister, or you and your mum and dad. You're going to jump across and you're going to see how many times you can hit your, your partner. Okay, you're going to have five runs each or five jumps each and then you can swap jobs. Okay, so this is a part of the session where you can hit the pause button. This game could last you maybe five or ten minutes. Then when you hit play again, restart, and I've just got one more progression, which you might want to see because it, it might involve the frying pan. Okay, hit the pause button now. And hopefully you're back. So this is, a, this is another game which some of the children might recognise at home. We call, we call it runners and gunners at home. Uh, at school, sorry. Um, so we can call the same thing here. So we're going to send Keelan across. He's going to jump again. But I'm going to be at the side and I'm going to have a tennis racket or a frying pan. This is just to prove to you that you don't actually need to use your proper equipment for some games. Just use, use your imagination. You could use your hand maybe or something. You could use whatever you want. Okay? Now as Keelan's jumping across, instead of me, instead of me throwing the balls, I'm just going to throw them up and I'm going to hit them. Okay? If you have tennis balls, you do need to make sure that you hit them and you're aiming for legs. You're not hitting them as hard as you can. The safest thing to use for this game are these spongy ones. If you don't have these spongy ones, then I suggest you ball up pieces of paper. Ball up pieces of paper. You can ball up a load of pieces of paper, stick some sellotape around them. You'll probably be able to use that for quite a large number of games we we're going to show you over the coming weeks. Okay? So I say to Keelan, three, two, one, go. He jumps across. And I just hit the tennis ball trying to hit him. You can have five runs each, see how many hits you get on your partner, and then swap jobs. Okay? That'll be your last. Oh, so you don't have to use a frying pan. If you've got tennis rackets at home, that'd be absolutely brilliant. But just to show you, you just sometimes need to use your imaginations, um, find things that you might not normally use for something, and just create something. But please make sure you ask your parents before you start using a frying pan out in the back garden. Make sure you ask them first, okay? Um, so that is your lot for today. We hope you've enjoyed your jumping games. We hope the parents have got a bit tied out. We hope the kids have had lots and lots of fun throwing balls and hitting balls with their parents as well. Um, please don't forget to share these videos, like us on um, Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Uh, we'll be back very, very soon with more videos. Thank you very much, guys. See you soon.